So this is question one from the 2016 Junior Cert Ordinary Level Paper 1. Part A1 says write down the biggest possible six digit number. Well the biggest single digit we know is nine. So it's just going to be six nines. Nine 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 or nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Part two says write down the smallest possible six digit number that does not start with zero. If it does not start with zero, the next smallest digit is one. But then all the other digits after that can be zero, which is the smallest digit we have. So it's going to be one with five zeros, which is 100,000. Part B of the same question says write in the missing number in each of the following sequences. The first sequence is three, five, seven, nine. So we can see that's actually going up in jumps of two each time. So if we continue that pattern from nine, if we jump up two, we've got 11. The next sequence, the jump each time is changing. The first jump is three, second jump is five, and the next jump is seven. This time the jumps are changing, but there's a pattern in them, three, five, seven. So the next jump would be a jump of nine. And 16 plus nine is 25. Part three, if we look at the jumps again, first jump is two, the next jump is four, and the third jump is eight. So this time the jumps are changing, but if we look at the pattern of the jumps, plus two, plus four, plus eight, the jumps themselves are actually doubling. So the next one would be a jump of 16. And 16 plus 16 is 32. Finally, in part four, we're looking for the first term of the sequence. So maybe we'll start at the end. To go from 19 to 16, we take away three, subtract three each time. 16 to 13, subtract three. 13 to 10, subtract three. So if we just continue that pattern, 10 take away three is seven, and we have our answer. That is the end of question one.